Hi, Tom Larson here with Tech Training for Teachers. Today we're going to show you how to download and set up Google Drive for Desktop. Let's get started. Go to the URL google.com forward slash drive forward slash download. Once there, click the link that says Download Drive for Desktop. After your download is complete, go ahead and open up the installer file. Here it is. I'll go ahead and begin the installation. Next, you'll see the Google Drive installer. At this point, click Continue and then Install. You'll need to authenticate with administration credentials in order to complete the installation. Then click Install Software. It's worth noting that if you are in a Google Workspace environment, your admin may have already pushed out Google Drive for your computer, so you won't need to actually install it on your end. We'll click Close and then we can move the installer file to the trash. After installation is complete, if you're on a Mac, go to your Applications folder and locate the Google Drive icon. We'll click on it. This will launch Google Drive for the first time. Go ahead and click Sign In with Browser. Choose your account and then click Sign In. Success! We'll go ahead and, for right now, minimize this window. Now that Google Drive is installed and linked to your account, locate the Google Drive icon in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. Choose it, and then click the gear icon to configure additional preferences. When configuring, the first thing you'll want to decide to do is which folders you'd like to back up to Google Drive. To mark a folder for backup, click the Add Folder button here. Locate the folder that you'd like to see backed up. Most people will probably want to choose their documents, photos, movies, and possibly the desktop. For right now, I'll just choose to back up my desktop. So I have it selected, and then we'll click Open. When you choose a folder, you'll see this message that says it will sync with Google Drive. If it contains photos, you'll also have the option to back up those photos directly to Google Photos. Okay. So now we have successfully added one folder and marked it for automatic backup. Let's do this one more time. This time, I'll add the Documents folder. All right, so I'll click Add Folder, locate the Documents folder here, and then we'll click Open. Same as before, if you want this synced with Google Drive, make sure this top option is checked. And if there are photos, be sure to check the Backup to Google Photos box. Click Done. If you wish to not mark any additional folders for backup, go ahead and click Save. Next, click on the Google Drive label over here on the left. The biggest thing that you'll want to understand here in terms of the difference between streaming files and mirroring files is that mirroring files will allow you to edit many of your Google Drive files offline if that internet connection is lost. The downside, though, is that it has the potential to fill up your hard drive. All right, so make sure you understand these differences. I'll leave it set to Stream Files. There are some other options you can configure here. You can find those by clicking the gear icon. And if you'll scroll down, you can see that you have the option to upload screenshots, raw files. You can even set Google Drive to make backups of your external thumb drives. If you're all done with settings, you can go ahead and close out of the window. If you look in the upper right-hand corner of your screen now, you'll see that the Google Drive icon is actually animated. This means that file syncing is occurring. If we choose it, you can see those files being synced. If at any time during syncing you need to pause the sync process, go ahead and click the gear icon, and then you can choose Pause Syncing. To resume syncing, click the gear icon once more, and then choose Resume Syncing. One of the nicest things about Google Drive for Desktop on the Mac is how it integrates with the Finder. If we go to our dock and choose the Finder, you can see on the left-hand side here, we have the Google Drive folder. So we can quickly access and get to any of our Google Drive files. So if we click on here, here are all my files that are already up in the cloud. Now to open any one of these, I'll simply double-click on it, and it will open up the file in Google Drive. Also, if you'd like to place a file inside your Google Drive 
Without loading up your web browser, it's really easy here. Just simply locate the file and drag it into your drive and then release. And then it's there. One last thing, if you need to stop running Google Drive altogether, go back up to your Google Drive icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen, click on the gear icon once more, and then choose quit. Then OK. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you have any comments or questions, be sure to enter them in the comments section of this video. Don't be afraid to reach out to me via email. Send your messages to tom at techtrainingforteachers.com. And if you enjoy watching content like this, be sure to subscribe and share the video with others. And don't forget, click that notification bell so you know the moment new content is posted.